pinpointing and resolving open-ended logic. Ensuring sound logic in a schedule is by far the most important ingredient in ensuring a sound basis of schedule, which in turn ultimately leads to project success. Fuse by far offers the most comprehensive logic analysis checks. Starting off in the, the standard analysis view, if we look at the, the schedule quality metric library, you can see that the first two metrics, missing logic and logic density, both pertain to quality of logic. Missing logic is a metric that looks at the number of activities that have either missing predecessors or missing successes, often known as open-ended or missing logic. This is a very effective means of pinpointing those activities, identifying them in the activity browser as we can see here in the bottom right corner, and then ultimately going back to the schedule and resolving those open ends. Logic density is a metric that is used to reflect the quality of the logic in a schedule. In theory, with each activity needing at least one predecessor and one successor activity, the average logic density within the schedule should be at least two. Now, conversely, the more logic you have in a schedule, the more converging paths, the more converging activity nodes, the more converging logic links into activities, that logic density factor increases. Now, as a rule of thumb, logic density really should stem anywhere from a value of two up to approximately a value of five. So this two to five range is an excellent means of critiquing and understanding whether or not your schedule has sufficient logic or perhaps it is overly complicated in the amount of logic that it contains. An effective way of using logic density is to actually use the phase analyzer in Fuse and zoom in by a specific time scale, in this case quarters, and look at logic density and see how it varies over time, showing it, for example, in a graphical format. So here we can see the logic density is lower than the magic number of two in the early phases of the project. It's fairly consistent with increasing complexity towards Q2 2012 before dropping off towards the end of the project. Again, an excellent way of understanding where in our schedule we need to focus our resources on improving the quality of logic. Taking logic analysis a step further, within the logic tab itself within Fuse, there are more detailed logic checks pertaining to not just open-ended logic, looking at missing predecessors and successors, but what we call hidden open ends in the form of dangling activities. There are two types of dangling activity. First of all, what we call open starts, and secondly, open finishes. Open starts occur when an activity may have a predecessor, but if that predecessor is tied to the finish of the activity rather than the start, the start is left, as the name suggests, open and dangling. It is a hidden open end. Likewise, with open finishes, if an activity has a successor that is tied to the start of the activity rather than the finish, the end of that activity is left as an open finish or a dangling finish. These three core checks are essential in ensuring sound quality of logic, which of course then leads to sound quality of schedule.